Hi there, I'm Mike from the Cisco Security MSP team. On behalf of the team, I'd like to welcome you to the Duo Managed Service Provider Program. At its core, the design of the program is based on the feedback we've received from the MSP community. We've omitted the need for complex partnership tiers, accreditation requirements, and minimum sales commitments to ensure that the Duo MSP program is built for simplicity. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Duo MSP admin panel as an administrator, including some important feature highlights, followed by an overview of the MSP buying program, and finally, we'll explain the additional benefits of the MSP program and how the, the MSP support system works. Once you're enrolled, we will give you access to the, the MSP section of the Duo Admin Panel. Within this multi-tenant management console, you have the ability to provision new accounts and manage Duo for all of your customers. You will also be able to control individual administrator access into your client accounts as your operations dictate. Let's get started. The MSP console is accessible via the Duo Admin Panel. Once you log in, you will notice your MSP parent account name in the account switcher in the top right hand corner. Remember that whatever account appears in the account switcher is the account that you are making changes to. Along the left side of the admin panel, you'll notice a variety of sections in the left sidebar. These sections give you control over your account and a variety of reporting options. Let's start with the account section in the left sidebar. Please note that the Accounts tab is only visible when the MSP Parent account is selected. Within the Accounts section, you can create and manage sub-accounts for all of your clients. You'll notice that each sub-account can have access tags associated with them. These tags allow you to segment sub-account access for your administrators as needed. Administrators will only be able to access the sub-accounts that they share an access tag with, but will still be able to see all accounts in this list view. An administrator can access a subaccount if one of the following th three things is true. Number one, the administrator has an owner role at the parent account level. Number two, the subaccount does not have any access tags. Or number three, the administrator shares at least one tag in common with the subaccount. Please note that access tags are case sensitive. To create a new subaccount, click Add Account. Enter a name for the new subaccount. Next, assign any access tags to the account that you can later associate to your administrators for granting necessary access to the subaccount. Once that is complete, you will need to fill in the required company details below, and then click Add Account. After creating the account, you can change its Duo Edition by clicking on the Edit button. Each account can only be on a single edition, but you can vary the edition per account. Select the desired edition and then click Save. You can access any subaccount by navigating to it from the list in the Accounts section. You can also search for a specific subaccount using the search bar on the Accounts page. You can also utilize the Account Switcher to quickly change between accounts. Now that we've created our account, we'll cover adding administrators and configuring administrator access to your accounts. There are a variety of administrator types, but we will focus on adding the owner administrator type. This admin has all available privileges to your account. It is Duo's recommendation to have a minimum of two owner administrator types to prevent account lockout. With your parent account selected, click on the administrators tab from the left sidebar. Then click Add Administrator. Enter the new administrator's name and email address. This email address must be unique as the email will be used for the admin sign-in credentials. Next, select the administrator's role. For more information on administrator roles, please check out duo.com slash docs slash admin roles. Owner administrators at the parent account level can also only have the owner role at the subaccount level. They will have access to all subaccounts. If the new administrator does not have the owner role, you can select the desired subaccount role for the administrator here. You can also add access tags for them here. Optionally, you can also allow or restrict access to groups and applications in this section. If you have a phone number for the administrator handy, you can add the number here. 
This can also be changed later if necessary. If you are using hardware tokens, you can assign them here next. Finally, you can send the new administrator an automatic enrollment link by clicking on the checkbox here. The enrollment link will be sent after you click Add Administrator and complete the process. After creating an account and configuring admin access, the next step is to associate users with the account. Navigate to a subaccount's admin panel to add users. On your subaccount's admin panel, you can see the name of the child account that you are managing and the parent account and username in the upper right corner. Next, click on Users in the left sidebar. All of the methods to enroll users in non-MSP Duo accounts are supported by MSP subaccounts. The available methods are described in detail on duo.com slash docs slash enrolling underscore users. Users can be enrolled via directory sync, imported from a properly formatted CSV file, or manually added. The most common method is directory sync. Duo can be synchronized with various directories, like Microsoft's Azure Direct Active Directory, and will import um, users and groups for use within the account. Comprehensive guides for directory sync, like Active Directory and Azure AD, are provided in our online documentation. After adding users to a subaccount, you will see the number of total users in the subaccount under the Users tab here. This is the number of users that you will be billed for in this account. This number will move up or down based on how many users you have in Duo for this client. Once you have users enrolled in a subaccount, the next step is to add the applications that you wish to integrate for your client. In the left sidebar, click on the Applications tab. Then click Protect an Application. For this demonstration, let's add Duo protection for our client's RDP application. To learn more about this common integration, go to duo.com slash docs slash RDP. In the search bar, type in RDP. Under the entry for RDP, click on the Protect button. On the new Application Properties page, you will see the application's integration key, secret key, and API hostname. You or your client will need these during setup. Once you have followed the steps within the documentation to configure and deploy Duo protection for an application, you are now ready to configure policies for the integration. In the left sidebar, click on Policies. Access to policy configuration options depends on which edition a customer has. More information on the differences between each Duo edition, including a comprehensive guide to policy, is available on duo.com slash docs slash policy. From the policy section, you can create and manage policies that make Duo more usable and feature rich. For example, if you want to make sure that only users with the most recent endpoint operating system can access a given application, you can do so within this tab. You are able to apply a particular policy to an individual application, users, or groups. Now that we've shown you how to use the Duo Admin Panel as an administrator, let's take a look at how the MSP Buying Program works. At the end of each month, Duo generates an invoice for our MSP partners based on the number of users within the MSP console in aggregate. With the invoice, we will also deliver a usage report that breaks down the number of users, subscription additions, and price per client. This will help you as you build Duo into your billing process. As an MSP partner, you will receive an initial 10% discount, starting with user number one. Once you have 1,000 users or more in aggregate across your clients, you will receive a 20% discount across your entire bill. By structuring the buying program this way, we remove the need for quotes, orders, license packs, renewals, and co-terms. Licenses are auto-provisioned to users as they are created within your admin panel, so you simply pay for exactly what is in your admin panel as you roll out to your clients. As a benefit of joining the Duo MSP program, you receive 50 free not-for-resale licenses for internal use. These not-for-resale licenses will be automatically applied to your MSP parent account upon enrollment in the MSP program, and they're a great way for you to protect your internal environment while getting familiar with the solution before deploying to clients.
By joining Duo's MSP program, you also have access to an MSP partner manager and a team of professionals who specialize in delivering business support for managed service providers. Whether you're looking for advice on how to best package Duo for your clients or would like assistance with sales or marketing, we're here to help. Reach out to us at any time at msp at duo.com. Thanks for watching.